Good morning. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 30th of May. But before I get started, there's just a few little things I want to touch on. Um, firstly, if you are new, please subscribe. And also, even if you are subscribed, please check that you are still subscribed. We talked about that, how my subscriber count is dropping dramatically. Um, so just make sure that you are still subscribed. I don't know what YouTube's doing there. Um, none of us can really understand why they take my comments and take my subscribers. But anyway, just make sure that you are subscribed, guys. And if my videos aren't popping up, maybe you have to go and look for them. I do pretty much do a daily video. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is just a little bit here um, in Australia. Elbow came on and did his little voice. Yes, he um, he is still pushing the voice indigenous um, voice in Parliament here big time. So he's really pushing this, wanting to get it out. And um, he said something about, oh, what was he talking about? The sky. Um, the sky is not going to fall. That's what he said. If you vote this in, um, you know, when we did the, they did a big apology thing a few years ago for the Indigenous. And anyway, as we know, it's all more division, as we know, separate and divide the same old thing. So Elbow is really pushing that. Um, I might leave a video of that actually to my Facebook page, guys, if anyone wants to check that out, because I reckon this is going to become a global issue. Um, we know, we all know pretty much it's a land grab. We see through all these things. There's always a bigger agenda behind the agenda that they're pushing. Um, the other thing is, oh, yes. Remember I was telling you the other week about McGowan, who is the Prime Minister of Western Australia here, which is on the opposite side of Australia from where I live. He's in charge of Western Australia. Um, he's like a dictator, Dan. I always talk about McGowan to you. And he was one of the ones that just recently visited China. Um, remember, I kept saying he was like selling us off to China. There's a lot of mining industries and things over in Western Australia. Oh, well, after that trip, he's resigned. Yes, another one. Another one. What is going on here, guys? And his speech was almost very similar. And I will actually put that on my Facebook page too. Go and have a listen to it. But it was very similar to Jab Cinders in New Zealand. He said he is very tired. It's very full on being a prime minister during a pandemic. Oh, oh he's very tired. Look at him. He was yawning nearly through the whole thing. Um, no, he wasn't. I am because it's just so exhausting to even think about these ministers just getting their payouts and leaving pretty much. So McGowan's off and he said he's just so exhausted. He just cannot keep going. He's just exhausted from the past few years. So I'm sure it's nothing to do with the big payout he's probably getting. And he's probably got some other job lined up, like Jab Cinder with her earth shot. We know that happened pretty quickly. So it'll be interesting, guys, to see hmm, where McGowan ends up because you don't sort of visit China and then come back and suddenly quit your job as Prime Minister. Just, just letting you guys know what's going on here in Australia. And the other thing, oh, my God, so funny, guys. I'm sure you've seen it, Martin, because it happened in Sweden. Did you see the... Because we keep talking about these climate activists, right, guys, that keep putting the spotlight on climate change. Very important. Spread your orange powder everywhere. Um, they were on the Dancing with the Stars in Sweden. I think it's called Dancing with the Stars. Is that what you call it over there? Oh, go look at it. You'll have a laugh. I'll put it on my Facebook page, guys. Always good for a giggle. The climate protesters, as we call them, the climate actors. Um, that seem to be employed by government to highlight these things. Um, the, one of the people gets the boom camera thing and knocks the sky over on the dance floor. It's complete madness. Wait till you see it. More good laughs, guys. And the other thing I just wanted to mention is Rose. Obviously, Rose, you're in New Zealand. <laughs> and you wrote this yesterday, and I just have to share it with you guys off my um, messages. <laughs> Um, many in New Zealand think everything is fabulous. And this is the, you put in brackets, yay, the Ardern types, because we were talking about New Zealand, the Ardern types, meaning the, the followers that follow the narrative beautifully. And then you wrote, then there is the other timeline, because we're always talking about the two timelines here, aren't we, guys? <clears throat> and you put the other timeline, which would be all of us, and it's called What the F Land. <laughs> what the F Land? I loved it. Because it is, that's us. We go, what the, don't we, guys? 
So I could definitely relate to that, Rose. So thank you for writing. That was very funny. Actually, you guys make me laugh a lot. So thanks all you guys who write comments and that. I per I intentionally try to write back to you because it's just so funny to hear your experiences and what we're all going through. Oh, God, because it's exhausting. Not only is it exhausting, it's complete madness what we're going through. And it is. It's like our eyes open every time something gets rolled out. We go, what the f it's true it's so true i could so relate to it so cheers rose but thank you to everybody who writes on my channel it's just brilliant all right i'll close my eyes guys we'll get started we'll see if anything comes up i am getting new zealand now i'm getting windy windy wellington i, I would say there's a lot going on in wellington this could be around the um Oh, tired energy today, guys. This could be around the roads. Um, I was talking about um, the roads being tidied up. A lot of facelifting going on. Hippos focusing on the, the road structures. I'm still getting that. And it could be a lot going on in Windy Wellington. If anyone lives there, guys, let us know if anything's happening in Windy Wellington. Um, all right, let's keep going. So roads, I would say, are being mm, worked on. He's such a great bloke, Hippo, isn't he? Helping the people with their road structures. Um, we know where that's all heading. Okay. I'm getting this message for us, guys, that we cannot afford to transfer our energy. We cannot give our energy and power away at all. This is a crucial time that we have to keep ourself safe they're showing me this straight jacket energy you know how you put a straight jacket on um they haven't been around for a long time but you can get straight jackets for they used to use them for crazy people which they would probably want to put us in anyway wouldn't they guys but you've we've got to like wrap ourselves up tie ourselves up now and keep everything close to our chest they're showing me this straight jacket um where we're we're not trapped it's not that we're trapped we're just controlling, um, oh, what would you say? We're controlling our own frequency and vibration by containing it and keeping it safe. Um, that's what I'm getting for us. We have to keep ourselves safe and not give our power away. All right. I think we're getting better at that, aren't we, guys? We're staying away from people who sort of aren't good for us or that zap our energy or energy vampires, all this kind of thing, stay away. And that would mean don't get into too many arguments and things as well and debates, which we have realised over time, haven't we, that it's pointless doing that. All right, let's keep going. I'm getting France, getting Paris. I'm getting like capital riots. I think they're having a lot of riots over there. Oh, this is still going on, guys. It is. It really is. Um, that, like, I'm getting that things are quite dangerous. The tension is still building. Of course, we're not seeing any of it. Nothing on mainstream media, of course. So I do still feel like the tension's really rising. It's almost getting very, very explosive in France. Um... And it's just saying that the little people have that real fire in their belly. They're, they're making a stand. They're not troubled by um, what Macron's like dishing out to them, whether that's the police or the SWAT teams or whatever they are. Um, they're still moving forward in their fight against, well, it would be dictatorship. We know it's dictatorship. They don't want it. People in France don't want it. So this is still... Ooh, it's not saying it's simmering. It's saying it's reached boiling point. Everything's exploding in France, Paris. Oh, we're going to have to do some research, guys, and find out what's going on there because this has to be still going on. Just because we don't see it on mainstream media, we know it, it, it's being hidden. Um, and probably push down the algorithms, I'd say, on some certain platforms, i.e. <clears throat> y capital T. We know that for sure. Look at my videos, get pushed right down the algorithms. All right, let's keep going. Enough of that.
God, I'm getting like Australia, Tasmania, maybe New Zealand. We're going to get a really cold blast soon. I feel like they're showing me like a big of really cold like wind off Antarctica. Is it Antarctica? Antarctica. Antarctica. That's going to come up from um, down below. We're going to get this big cold blast. That's just what I'm getting. And that's probably in the next week or so which has to happen as we're going into winter. It's a bit unavoidable. Um, it's probably a real one too. That's what's so frustrating, guys, isn't it? We don't know what's real and what isn't real. We know they play around and manipulate the weather. They definitely do. Um, that's not even hidden. Um, where I live, they make man-made snow all the time. That's been going on for years and years and years. So not hard to manipulate the weather. Um, and, of course, um, one of you was talking about I think it was you, Karen. We we're talking about the climate change and how how people, you know, can think that weather patterns don't change over the years because they do. Sometimes you have a hot season. Sometimes you have a wet season. Like that's all normal, but they still keep believing the stuff they get fed by their mainstream media and government that it's very desperate and dire, and the whole world is collapsing weather-wise. The global warming's taking over and destroying your lives. It's just nuts that people believe this crap. It is. It is. I know you guys get it. Um, it's very frustrating. <laughs> and then throw the climate protesters in the mix. <laughs> oh, stop it. What would we laugh at if we didn't have the climate protesters to have a giggle at? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm just not seeing any of us throwing orange paint anywhere. <laughs> I'm really not. That's not something we would do, is it? Oh, you would have to get paid to do that, I'm telling you. Nuts. All right, let's keep going. Oh, they're showing me England, and I'm getting this, like, cheesy face, like, and it's got, like, the holding in of the dimples, like, like a happy face, and I'm getting that sushi. He's got this, I'm a hap, hap, happy face. What's that song? I'm a hap, hap, happy dog. Is it a happy dog? I think it's called happy dog. It's a little song called, I'm a hap, hap. Happy dog. I'm a happy, happy, happy dog. So I think Sushi's quite happy with how everything's um, rolling out in England. Um, hang on a minute. I'm getting interrupted. <laughs> hang on. I'm getting this movement on the stock exchange, whatever that means. Maybe, John, you might know. Um, there's drastic movement on the stock exchange. See, I think, too, when the economy is collapsing and things are going downhill... It has to have an effect on the stock exchange. I don't exactly know how the stock exchange works. I know it can be quite chaotic, but they're showing me like super chaotic scenes of the stock exchange, um, which I'm guessing isn't a good sign. So I am getting there's a, a real chaotic movement on the stock exchange. Sorry, that was like an interrupting message that came through. Um, let's get back to Sushi and his happy face. Hang on. He's grinning. Um, see, Sushi feels like he's getting the people on board now. He feels like he's starting to entice people with his plans. He feels like, um, see, he's looking at his, well, it's saying trajectory. So he's looking ahead at where this is going and how it's only going to benefit the little people. And I think that's not correct because we know there's only going to be benefit for the leaders and the the, <laughs> the puppets and the muppets that are working for these um, elites that are making all the decisions in the background, the puppet masters. But he is looking, he's, he's looking ahead. I'm getting the word trajectory. Um, and, and it's making Sushi feel um, like he's got a handle on these things. We know he's pushing things hard in England um, and things are starting to roll forward now. How are people not fighting back over there? Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, he's trying. I feel like you're getting, he's, he's, he's trying to settle things down, whether it be around the ambos and nurses and the health um, health sector. He's, he's donating. They're looking at, um, funding and donations towards these areas to employ more staff. Again, we're getting back to the immigrants. If we 
bring immigrants in, we can employ more people to the hospitals and the doctors and all this kind of thing. See, this is where the immigrants come in. I mean, sack all your staff with the CV jab mandates, of course, but then get in people that don't know and can hardly speak English. Like all these, all these things are going to become hiccups and hurdles. And that's not racism. That's just a fact and a reality. People who come from another country are not necessarily going to be able to speak English. So these are issues that Sushi hasn't sort of um, thought of, but he thinks it's such a great plan. You'll just fill the job if he put... Oh, God. I'm tired thinking about all this, guys. If he puts the funding into the the medical sector, he feels like he can fix the problem and therefore get the people back on board and just keep moving everything along. But as we know, it's not that black and white. Nothing is that simple. Especially when you have language barriers and people have taught different ways of doing things and then they don't do it that way. I mean, we know that in some countries the, the level of um, hospital care and these kind of things, ambulance care, is going to be vastly different. They would have to go through rigorous training again. It's just nuts. But Sushi thinks if he can do this, then he can solve all the problems. Oh, isn't he wonderful? <laughs> oh, God, it's just nuts. Uh, all right, so there's something to close with today, and I brought my cards along, guys, so we'll do a couple of little fun cards at the end. All right. I'm getting Scotland the Brave again. I'm still seeing Scotland on the hill and Scotland on the hill. Sorry. You brave hearts on the hill like Mel Gibson out of the movie Braveheart. I'm still getting that. You're still just wandering around on the hills. There's not a lot of activity. Now, I remember one of you saying to me who lives in Scotland, hi, whoever wrote it, um, that things are quite um, being done by sort of right under the radar. That things are being done very sneakily so people aren't really waking up in Scotland. So I'm still getting that, that people are observing, but they're not panicking in Scotland. I'm still getting that. They feel like they still have control of their lives in Scotland. Um, that's why I'm getting that um, Mel Gibson, the Braveheart image of him just walking around on the hills, not stressed at all. They're not being attacked. Um, they're not feeling overwhelmed. This is in Scotland. I'm getting Ireland. Ireland's a little bit different. I'm getting the extremism. Um, is starting to be thrown in people's faces in Ireland. People in Ireland are getting a little bit sick of all this. Um, and see, people in Ireland, they see these um, or protesters, whatever is being thrown in their face, as narcissists, and they don't like it. I think Irish people are quite genuine. They don't like narcissistic people. Um, it really bugs them. Um, so in Ireland, I would say... People are seeing a lot of this for what it is. They're seeing through things now, and that's good. You want them to see through things. Um, so I'm getting that for Ireland. The the extremism causes problems in Ireland, and I think that's when you get the flare-ups, the little bit of volatility where you have these interactions between people and the cops, and it's that it takes people back to those old feelings of memories of when things went south in Ireland, which has happened sort of on and off over history, I suppose. But I'm just getting that. Um, people don't like narcissistic and selfish people in Ireland because it, it causes problems. It causes problems with the social dynamics in Ireland. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, because cause I feel like I, I, Ireland... Is, is quite a connected place. People are quite connected to each other in Ireland. Um, there's a warmth. Um, there's a kindness. I just, I feel that. And when people separate themselves off into little packs or little groups, it becomes dangerous. And that's how Irish people view it. Um, they don't like that separation of extremists, I would say, and narcissists. They don't like it. And that that's a good thing because it helps wake more people up. So we've got to look at that as positive, guys, if you're living over in Ireland. I know I've got some of you that live in Ireland. Okay, let's do a couple of happiness cards. I'll throw the glasses on because that's always a good idea so I can see things. I'll do a little bit of my shuffling, guys. Let's see what happy vibes we're going to get today. I'm doing these from my happiness vibes if you are new. Words of inner joy. <laughs> these are cute little cards. 
All right, let's see what we get. Oh, one jumped out already. We got, it's like a little leaf. Give up control. Understand that disappointment is the result of false expectations. <laughs> that makes sense. Give up control. Understand that disappointment is the result of false expectations. True, you create your own disappointment sometimes because you have expectations of situations, people, and then when things don't eventuate, it can be disappointing. So you just, I think that's getting back to that flow. Just give up control, guys. At this point in time, we're, oh, I've got to get this card because it flew right, right over there. If I can get it. Oh, this is interesting. Look at this, guys. It's a little puppy. It's a little doggy. <laughs> Speaking of dogs, um, they're not here today, so there's no snoring today to interrupt the video. <laughs> Enjoy a cuteness overload. Go ahead, scroll through the doggy photos. <laughs> That's so funny. That's funny on my channel, isn't it? Enjoy the cuteness overload. <laughs> scroll through the doggy photos. It is funny. You could even do that on YouTube, actually. You can go in and watch some funny dog videos. It's hilarious as. I love Instagram for that, if any of you are on Instagram. Oh, my God. Some of the doggy pics and photos and things are so cute on there. I know you guys always have a good laugh at my doggos, Sprocket and Sophie. They are very funny because they're rescue dogs. <laughs> They've got, like, their own traumas. Like, Sprocket is really scared of people. Like, he's... Mm. He's terrified of people and it takes like six to seven times to actually um, get to know him. We have to introduce people to him really slowly because he's so fearful of people that he would probably bite them because he has real high anxiety and it comes right up and he tries to scare people before they scare him. Um, but Sophie, she's scared of dogs, but she loves people. She just loves people. And but get a dog, she goes off her brain. So they like got opposite trauma. <laughs> My dogs. So dogs are always good for a laugh. Is it so cute? These little hippie cards. And then we're getting the the rain coming down. And it's be silly. Let yourself be bad at something. Oh, we've had that before. Like it's okay to be bad at something. We're never going to be perfect at everything. <laughs> I think we already know that on this channel, though, don't we? Not? We know we have a lot of imperfections and that nothing goes perfectly in life. So I don't think we have a problem with that card. All right, let's do a Whispering Woods. You know, I absolutely love these cards. Oh, something about these cards I got when I was away in this little holiday in Mollymook. They just, I think it just had a nice energy vibe, the little shop. <laughs> Some cards you just really resonate with. I know you guys, a lot guys, a lot of you are into cards, and some you just, you know, um, click with, don't you? Just I'm going to pull this out because it really jumped out. Learn, take a lesson from the owls. Deeply observe the night, and you'll become a little wiser in the day. Oh, I think we've had that one before. I showed you guys my owls that I bought from my garden. The wise old owl sitting in the tree, observing by night, and we can see clearer in the day. That, that's beautiful. Owls are very wise. That's what you think of, isn't it? We do do a lot of observing, guys. Um, in the very beginning of this whole process, about three and a half years when we all came together here on my channel, we were really caught up in it all. But now with the guidance from the guides and that, we've really learned to take that step back, sit in the movie theatre and just watch things from afar because we know there is no point. Um, we plant seeds, of course we do, but there's no point. Um, getting involved in all the crap anymore. People are going to wake up. They're going to see it for themselves because they're being lied to. We know they are. Um, grounded. Keep to your roots and stand taller than the trees. Hmm, that's an interesting one. Keep to your roots and stand taller than the trees. Now, that's interesting. Maybe that some trees actually do have very long root systems. Like they say, don't they say if you look at a tree, the roots are usually the same distance underground so maybe that's what it again it's getting back to that stability feeling really grounded in our root system like our core beliefs um and stand taller than the trees that's an interesting one isn't it keep to your roots and stand taller than the trees uh, really it's about being grounded and having a really good root system a strong root system that maybe is taller than the trees um we always talk about staying stable and grounded and that's how you do it by detaching and Staying out of all the nonsense and garbage. We know that here. All right, 
I'll get one more card and then we'll see if there's something to close. Ooh, to close with. Oh, okay, there we go. Now we keep getting root things. Origins. Remember your roots. Wow. See, that's about our beliefs, I guess. Our um, Remember your roots. Well, I guess it's our past too because it's your, it sort of is your past that that gets you to where you are today. All the journey and the things that I'm going to get one outcome card because that's a little bit, it's not that it's vague. It's just a strange card, isn't it? I'm just getting that urge to pull one more. Yeah, trust. The robin trusts her wings, not the branch she sits on. We've had that before too. That's beautiful. So that's trusting in yourself. Very important to trust in the things you believe. And that's what we did in the very beginning, guys. We trusted in the messages and the guidance that we were being given at the start of this whole pandemic and circus show event. And look where we are today. It's all coming to fruition, guys, isn't it? It is. Um, no one can deny that, that it isn't um, happening. All right, I'll see if there's one more thing to close with today. Bear with me. Just have a little sip of tea. I'm give, they're giving me that song. There's a reason why the sun don't shine. And there's a reason. Da 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 da. And there's a reason. Ba da ba ba. There's a reason. So we're getting there's a reason for like everything, which we know there is. And I'm getting, when I hear there's a reason the sun don't shine, is because obviously there's a little bit of maybe weather manipulation. We do talk about that here a lot, that a lot of us suffer a lot of grey skies. I've actually got the sun coming through today, which is kind of nice. Um, hang on a minute. So we're getting that song today, whoever sings that. I keep getting that Culture Club song. Um, and time won't give me time. In time, you should have been so much more. In time, it's precious, I know. So I'm getting that song as well today. I'll see if there's something else to close with. Um, sometimes I don't know what why I get songs, guys. Sometimes they're relatable. We can play them and get messages from them, but sometimes they mean something for you guys out there. So I just say whatever's coming through. Hang on a minute. I'll see if there's one more thing to close with. Yeah, I'm getting earth, wind, and fire. They won't let me not say it. Um, da -da 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 -da. Do you remember every time it's September? We got this the other day, remember? I was singing it. What is happening in September? I think we've got the voice thing happening here in September. But maybe September is significant for some reason. I keep getting that song. Um, it's September. Dancing the night away. Oh, so interesting. Um, so I'm going to leave you with that song today. Maybe we go play it and see if there's any messages in there. Or maybe there's something happening in September. Um, I'm pretty sure we've got the voice vote, vote here. Maybe this is, you know, maybe you guys will have something coming in September as well. Um, so I'm going to leave you with those songs today. Um, have a wonderful day, everybody. Um, enjoy. Thanks heaps for commenting. Please subscribe. Hit those like buttons, guys. We've built a little community here of the like-minded people who are on the same timeline, the what the F timeline, <laughs> Rose. So brilliant. I love it. All right. Take care. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.